so uh, give me that uh, ding-a-ling real quick. Okay. Are you going to put that in the video if you say give me that ding-a-ling real quick? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, well, um, welcome back to Lisa. A game made by someone named Ding-a-ling, apparently. I still never bought that. Is the, is the Halloween sale still going? I doubt it. Fuck. Because it's Turkey Month today. Turkey Month? Turkey Month is today. It is today, and they're playing Christmas music. Why aren't they playing Thanksgiving music? Name two Thanksgiving <laughs> songs. Um, My Turkey and Me. <laughs> There's a safe place. Uh, um, my big, my big black hat, like pilgrim hat, uh, the buckles on my shoes. You're making all of this up. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, hey man, here's some corn. <laughs> I don't fucking know. What's this elevator go to? It's in use. It's only there just to get you past this long walk if you want to go back. Oh. Once you get to the end, it'll open up. So, here's some buildings and shit. Okay. Okay, more buildings and shit. Really, really crappily pasted on buildings. Yeah. So, it's like, are we at the final boss? Is there fucking another save point? New home? New oh, fuck, home. this is fucking... Ah, shit! Ah, shit, dude! Examine everything. Scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. Seems like gardening tools. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anybody's using it. The coals are still warm. Oh, fuck! I hope you like exposition. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Okay. It's a golden flower. Mm -hmm. Oh, a key. Phone's keychain. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. So the top is very clean. Somebody used magic fire and fire magic. Howdy, help yourself to anything you want. Oh, unopened containers of snails. I mean, this is just her house. Yes. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Okay. Azriel brought the human back to the castle. You want on that? I'm looking at all the golden fl Oh look, it's earthbound. Ah, oh, go ahead and take it. It's a decent piece of armor. Everybody is smiling. Striped shirts in there. Sorry. It's a golden flower. Room under renovations. Oh, it's another. <laughs> Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Gotcha. Despite everything, it's still you. Uh-huh. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says is nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. It's a king-sized bed. I got king -sized it. King-sized bed. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Button up shirts on a pink hen knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. I want a I wanna sweater that says that when I'm a dad. Number one nose nuzzle champs 98. Oh shit. Did I just figure something out? Or... I don't know. Because I can't read your mind. I don't want to say it though. No. Okay. Say it later after you're wrong. I'm probably wrong. Then, mm. one day, the human became very ill. Ah! The sick human had only one request to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. This is some serious exposition. The next day, 
the next day... The human died. The end. Fuck! Asriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into, be into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. That scene from Mother 3. Oh yeah. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. Oh no! They thought that he had killed the child! Oh no, dude! The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But he didn't, did he? Mm, I don't know. Maybe these guys will say it. But... Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Asriel smiled and walked away. So what would have happened if I had killed these people? These monsters? I think they'd still show up. Okay. Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. This dust? Yeah, when monsters die, they turn to dust. Oh. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from it. Well, that's kind of an exaggeration. It's just two kids. And even then, the human didn't die because of the humans. Yeah, the human just got sick. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will give... Give us hope. Oh, let us go and save us all. Boy, oh boy. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? It went, it went to 29 frames per second for a second. I got scared. You're going to be free. That's just to go back. Away from the exposition hallway. Last core. Oh, fuck. Ah, are we at the end of the game? Maybe. There's a bunch of DDR dance mats down here. I can't move anymore. <gasps> no! I know that shape. I know that silhouette. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's XP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. <laughs> a way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive, just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, <laughs> you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. Oh, he even has a line for running away. <clears throat> you never gained love, but you gained love. <laughs> Does that make sense? Maybe not. Hi. Uh, uh, okay. You're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. 
you have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Yay! All right, we're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. There's another save point, like, all the way back there, though, right? Yeah, it's still there. Okay. You're probably going to come and come across, like, three more in the next two rooms, though. Why? I, it's, like, not stingy with the save points near the end. But... So, okay, so what happens if you've killed people? Do you have to fight Sans? Uh, not if... No. I mean... We're still in a neutral run right now. The pacifist stuff happens after the neutral run. Throne room is up there. What's down here? Go down there. Now, so, just to recap... A human soul and a monster soul is required to just go through the barrier, but seven human souls destroys the barrier. Quip. It's empty. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit, dude. I can't walk past it. You can't do nothing else in here. Okay. Don't even bother. That motherfucker's gonna... Has a coffin! So, it takes seven human souls to enter the barrier, but a monster soul and a human soul can go through. A monster... And a human soul, I think it's like one of them has to absorb the other soul or something. They can cross the barrier, but seven breaks the barrier forever. Seven human souls. Yo, it's the Asgore. Mm, wow, there's a lot of golden flowers. <laughs> dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Are you peeing stop, on them? Stop pressing square so much. Here we are. I knew it! No, I was right! I was she right! She was a dude the entire time. No, it's Toriel's husband. She was the queen. That's what I was thinking. Oh. So, we got a goat dad, too. I so badly want to say... Would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. Sometimes you just gotta kill some kids, gotta, you know? Gotta kill all humans. <laughs> nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do when you are ready? Come into the next room. It's gonna be another save point. Yeah, like this room and the next room has another save point. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. I knew it. Mm. I wonder what happens if I try to call Toriel right now. Oh, how tense! Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Okay, go into your box and take the pie out. Your dimensional box. Butterscotch pie. And the snowman piece. Because you need to take that to the end of the game. Are you ready? If you were not, I understand. I'm not ready either. Oh, it doesn't even say anything anymore. What? It doesn't tell me I'm filled with determination. Oh, yeah. I don't think anybody feels good about this. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If if by any chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Do I have any unfinished business? Not really. I see. This is it, then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Yeah. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh fuck. Ah oh, fuck. Ah oh, fuck, dude. I can't mercy anymore. Seriously?
What do, what do I do with the butterscotch pie? Uh, do I eat it? Don't eat it until you need to. You don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Fuck me. I need to eat something already. Eat the pie then. Or not. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Oh, what does orange mean? Orange means you have to move. It okay. won't hit you as long as you're moving. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Red collection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack drop. Asgore's defense drop. Fuck. Seems like talking won't do any good. Yeah, but... What is this fucking, uh... What is this, Super Hex Gun? So that's, what, that's what Steam Train said. Why are you copying them? I, did, I don't watch them, so how am I copying them? Seems like talking won't do any more good. Uh, okay, I figured I figured out that now. I know talking won't do any more good, but I don't want to fight him. The smell reminded Asgore of something. His attack and defense went down. It doesn't really do much, it's just a little Easter egg, really. What do I do? Talking's not gonna work. Do I have to fight him? Well, I mean, there was a frog that told you... Uh... Weakening somebody would spare them. I mean, and... Everybody's been telling you you're gonna have to kill Asgore. I mean, I'm gonna, it's up to you. What the- what? Weakening somebody will spare them? I, I, there's no mercy option though. Well, what are your options right now? Fight and act! But talking don't do no good! Talking didn't do nothing, checking didn't do nothing. You gotta go through your options, man. Snow piece. Don't use the snow piece. You'll just eat it. And the snowman will be kind of what? upset. What? You, you, you were supposed to time your hits in the center. Well, I've never f fought anybody before. Oh, you're still using the book. You could equip the dagger and, and get some more magic. Something I something I learned is this game has a serious mode and a funny mode. Like on certain battles, like normally uh, all your items will have names. Like butterscotch pie will change to like butts pie, and like they'll all be they'll all be abbreviated in a silly ways. But then like when you're in certain battles, like this battle or the entirety of a genocide run, they'll switch to regular names like pie. And I thought that was kind of neat. Bah, 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 bah. I don't like this. I don't like that I'm having to fight him now. If I had known from the beginning, I should have just started attacking him, I would have. You knew through the entire game. Everybody's been telling you that you're going to have to fight him. Because the only way to get through is with a monster soul and a human soul. And I guess holding hands isn't enough. Someone's got to kill somebody. Junk food work. So the hands don't hurt me. I guess not. Do I want to try to hit the middle? Yeah. Okay. Even though I would assume that red means more damage, but it doesn't. This is tense. I'm running out of HP. A butter got of HP. What do I do at this part? Like, you can like get in the middle of those little helixes. All I have is a snow piece, BJ. Don't eat the snow piece. I'm going to die if I don't eat the snow piece. 
You're gonna make the snowman upset. I'm going to die! Well, if you take your turn, uh, the, the apron will heal. No, wait, you don't have the apron. I don't have the apron equipped. Well, do you think the snow piece is gonna actually save you? Because... You moved. I know, I thought it was gonna be faster than that. Uh, it cannot end now. Quip. Stay determined. That's him talking, isn't it? That's his voice. Um, see what else you got in your box. You might have some hot dogs. No, don't leave, leave the hush puppy. It's confusing, like the abandoned, abandoned quiche. quiche. Yeah. All right, so I should go ahead and talk to him to try to get his stuff down and then fight him. Yeah. You still have a pie, too. Yeah. I love how the fights didn't even have backgrounds until now. You tell Asgore that he's killed you once before. He nods, sadly. <laughs> lied to me. You can get in the middle of them. Like, you can see where the things aren't hitting it. You tell Asgore you're not gonna get hit at all. The audience starts cheering. Alright, now I'm gonna equip my dagger. Cause I don't know, I don't know why the fuck I didn't. Good burger. I did something before that took more or more defense down, didn't I? I was doing like 200 damage to him in the green. I can't remember. You can land a critical hit if you get it right dead center. Right there. Well, I thought it was supposed to do like a special animation. You ate the pie. Yeah. And you talked to him. Enough. I can't oh. remember anything else that would do it. Alright, well. I guess it's just a war of attrition. Just gotta... Stop making up words. Swatched black to blue. Swatched. Stop saying swatch. <laughs> I gotta say though, the the new uh, trailer last video, it was all right. It was all right. I still, I, I like, I prefer the Eminem one to most of his Skittles. I don't know why. I think I remember liking the M&M's ones better. I do love the... Yeah, there was the M&M one where it's like, you know the old saying, melts in Luau's, not in my pants, and he just like fucking slips in through his track shorts, and it falls out the bottom. That, that guy, he was onto something. Uh, where's page two? Just keep going over. Oh, fuck! Out of area, fuck it. Did you mute it? No, I answered it. They're listening to us. Let's play right now. Not really. I hope. Oh. Okay, yeah. You're on the air with the Dark Room! <laughs> Our first call in! Ever! How does that make you feel? Who the fuck are you? Oh, nice gerb. Wait, did I get hit by that? Uh, I think you got hit by one of them. I guess I mean, I'm doing it. 
Oh, I gotta be. <laughs> Sorry. I'll try to do better. If you don't kill him this time, I'll take the next turn. Okay. Because you're bad. I am. You're 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 your average. I mean, especially since it's your first time. What did I get hit by there? I His... I did not mean to equip the apron. Well, now you'll heal some bam damage every turn. I didn't mean to equip it. The stupid fucking sticks on this are so sensitive. Don't use the sticks. They're better to dodge stuff with, though. Not really. They're not analog. I mean, not in this game. It doesn't have any analog mo I'm playing now, for the first time, and- You're gonna beat the fucking final boss, because on, well, on my playthrough- Do you wanna- do you wanna play? Do you want this? A little bit. Okay, here. Josh is playing now. Josh took- took the reins. This is an extra episode long. Alright, I am putting away the stained apron. I'm equipping the worn dagger. And I'm- I'm sorry, I have to pee. Really okay, bad. that's fine. I'm putting away the torn notebook. I'm gonna get the hush puppy out. Keep the hush puppy in the box. Okay. Fine. PJ says keep the hush puppy in the box. Save again. God fucking damn it. If this don't work, I'm gonna go buy some more fucking star phase or something. Those healed pretty good. Alright. Guys, go kill the mercy. All right. First things first. Let's act. Talk to this motherfucker. He's killed me twice. He nods sadly. Fuck. Shit. Talk to him again. I eat eat some pot. I did not mean to eat the junk food, but okay. You just keep going. Yeah. All right, I'm back. Not we're back, I'm back. We're doing this in real time, folks. As you can see, it absorbs all the liquid, even underneath the carpet. Buy one now, get another one free. Yada, yada, yada. I was doing it. I, I know. Infomercial. I know. I, I saw. I just love the fucking Shamwell commercial. That he's just like, we're doing this in real time, folks, and then it cuts right after he fucking says that. Yeah. And then, like, suddenly there's not any a liquid soda underneath the. <laughs> yeah. Like, somehow a sham whale is able to just vacuum up stuff that's soaked under the carpet with no force. That commercial was so bullshit. Apparently, the sham whale is actually, like, not good. Not as good as they say. I mean, it's just a chamois. Just keep moving. Which is to say, it's a total shame. See, it was moving, though. Maybe when you turned, you stayed still for just a fraction of a second. It's probably just good to keep going in a straight line. Oh, God damn it! that's so hard to figure out. Why can't I eat the hush puppy? That would give me an extra thing to heal with. Who composed the music for this? Toby. Toby did? Toby did, like, everything except for some of the uh, overworld sprites. Like, Toby, like, made this game pretty much all of it. Damn. And then Temmie did some of the uh, overworld sprites. And I think some of the tile assets. Probably the good ones. <laughs> Toby was the compo was one of the composers for Homestuck. Like he already made a name for himself in in that regard. Oh, so he he's used to having a bunch of autistic people. <laughs> yeah, he's used to having an autistic fan base. So nothing's <laughs> nothing's not changed. It didn't help that this game already has an overlap with the Homestuck fan base. Th th this fan base is not that great. White tail? Yeah. It's like, people are like, yeah, I think it's a great game, but some people are just like praising it like it's God's gift to gaming. I, it's probably game of the year for me, honestly, especially since it came out right after I was in, really disappointed with MGSV. 
But that's not saying much. Not a lot of good things have come out, or at least that I'm interested in. Yeah, not this year. Yeah. Did Bloodborne come out this year? I think it did. I, I guess I'm getting it. Bloodborne soon, because... Chandler's working at the GameStop that I used to work at, so I get discounts again. Cool. Because, well, I mean, all I have to do is give her money and then she'll get a discount, but... Or she'll use her discount. You'll give her money and then she'll give her you a game. Yeah. For less money. Oh, man. This tune that's playing right now, that was from uh, Toriel's boss fight. Alright, BJ, if I can't beat him soon, I'm gonna eat the goddamn snow piece. I do not care if the snowman is upset. Fine, it's your choice. It's your choice. You got this, though. I believe in you. You got like three hits. Four, maybe. Oh! Oh, no! Alright, we got him. This has been the finale of uh, Undertale. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken away from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said I could destroy any I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity, and I let monsters rule the surface in peace. <coughs> Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Mm. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Did I do the wrong thing? It was a pacifist run. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface. Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best as we can. We could sit in the living room telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could like... like a family. Oh, we could like a family. Oh, no! I didn't do that! Why did you do that? I didn't do that! <laughs> It's 10 frames a second! What just happened? <laughs> I guess all those particles did that. Oh, oh my god! That smug motherfucker. You haven't learned a thing. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Blah, 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 blah. Fucking shit. <laughs>